Hi, I'm Heather Sharp, and by now we should all have at least a sense or recognition of John Locke. Who's John Locke? This is John Locke. He is known as um, modern father of modern psychology, father of liberalism, and very well known for his contributions to government and psychology. So he was born in the United Kingdom in the 17th century. His father was very involved in politics, so naturally he just followed in his footsteps, had extensive education to many different colleges, was part of a royal society, and it wasn't until later he decided to go and get his doctorate in medicine, which pulled him back to psychology. But um, as for history, you should recognize him because it was his ideas of separation of powers that America is based off of. That is our government. Same with our unalienable rights, you know, life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. These are things that built America. Thanks, John. <laughs> uh, he also had a big part of the French Revolution and he wrote many, many books. So if you're interested, go check out some of the books he wrote. Um, into psychology, he really kind of set a different way. Uh, everybody was really into the innate ideas. You know, we were born already knowing things. Well, this didn't make sense because not everybody knew the same thing. So how could that be? So he came up with the blank slate theory. And this is that uh, says that we experience things and that is how we know things. But he also uh, warned that just because our senses tell us something doesn't mean we can trust them. So from that, we have primary and secondary and simple and complex ideas. As an example for those, um, I have this and I kind of want to relate it to also sensation and reflection. So to me, that's like mind and body. So um, as for primary, we can all agree that this is round. Uh, we can all agree upon its mass. So that would be like its body. But for secondary, what's it look like? Is it pink? Is it red? It's going to be different for everybody. Does it smell the same to you as it smells to me? Probably not. So it's how we perceive things. That would be the mind. So it's those interactions that come together to kind of help us understand his ideas. Uh, you can't have one without the other. They complement one another and they're going to be different for everybody. Uh, same with simple ideas is all like your senses. You know, what is happening? What's going on? And then complex is how your mind's going to put that together like a puzzle piece. My puzzle is going to look different than yours. It's just how we are. Um, so that was John's main contribution to psychology. That really set the path for broadening how we can think and interpret and really looking into perceptions and how the mind works. Uh, he also had a large impact with the association. There's a brief page on it in our book. He goes to explain how our experiences need to be very selective so that we act and behave certain ways. He goes into using a school as an example that teachers should behave and treat students differently and approach topics a specific way so that later on children will want to learn. It's something that they want to enhance and continue if it's a terrible experience and nobody wants to do it again. So go check it out. It's a wonderful resource. It was one of mine. Here is our book and this is Crash Course. Awesome videos. I'm sure we've all at least seen maybe one of them or study tips or anything, but that's John Locke.